So I just got up, and I go on my computer, and I see this. Microsoft to acquire Activision Blizzard to bring the joy and community of gaming to everyone across every device. At least that's Microsoft's headline. I guess the New York Times broke the story, at least that's the arc going around, but you have to be, uh, you have to have an account, you have to be logged in to New York Times website to read it. So, fuck the New York Times, uh, decided to, I guess, get it from the mouth of Microsoft themselves. They say with 3 billion people actively playing games today and fueled by a new generation step steeped in the joys of interactive entertainment, Gaming is now the largest and fastest growing form of entertainment, and I don't really care. Today, Microsoft Corp. announced the plans to acquire Activision Blizzard Inc., a leader in game development and interactive entertainment content publisher. The, act the acquisition will accelerate the growth of Microsoft's gaming business across mobile, PC, console, and cloud, and will provide building blocks for the metaverse. What the fuck is the metaverse? I keep seeing this. Apparently, it's like a Facebook thing. Like, it just seems so stupid. It's a VR thing. I know that. It, I have no clue why people are interested in this, but okay. Microsoft will acquire Activision Blizzard for $95 per share in an all-cash transaction valued at $68.7 billion, inclusive of Activision Blizzard's net cash. When the transaction closes, Microsoft will become the world's third largest gaming company by revenue behind Tencent and Sony. The planned acquisition includes iconic franchises from Activision Blizzard and King Studios like Warcraft, Diablo, Overwatch, Call of Duty, and Candy Crush, in addition to global esports activities through Major League Gaming. The company has studios around the world with nearly 10,000 employees. Also, a spelling error there. It's supposed to be world, not word. But, yeah, like they said up here, it accelerates the growth of Microsoft's game business across mobile, PC, console, and cloud. It, it really does. You got Candy Crush in this. And people like playing that Call of Duty mobile version. And I'm sure they have other mobile stuff. And they have that Diablo app that got memed to hell. Uh, but, yeah, I... PC, Call of Duty, Overwatch, all these, really, except for Candy Crush, that are named here. Obviously, people like playing Call of Duty and Overwatch on PC, and all these games. I think Warcraft is only on PC. I could be wrong, I've never played War Warcraft, and never been interested, or Diablo. I'm not sure if Diablo is on, I think it is on console, but it really does uh, help them across the board. And they, if they have Call of Duty and Overwatch <laughs> as console and PC exclusive, that is huge for them. They, if it's not on PlayStation, that's huge for them. You might have seen the controversy uh, over over at G4, and that whole thing stemmed from Frost uh, saying that, well, it seemingly does, Frost saying that, Sony is a dead man walking, basically, and Microsoft's gonna destroy them. It seemed crazy, and so I don't think Microsoft's still gonna gonna destroy them. I don't think that's gonna happen. But I mean, this helps their case a little. It does, <laughs> but I still don't think they're gonna destroy it, destroy Sony. But it's just kind of funny the timing. And I might cover that. I kind of want to do a video of putting everything together and talking about the whole situation uh, towards the end, but I don't know. We'll see. Might be a little late for that. But we'll see uh, how, how I'm feeling towards that. But continuing on, Bobby Kotick will continue to serve as CEO of Activision Blizzard, and he and his team will maintain their focus on driving efforts to further strengthen the company's culture and accelerate business growth. Once the deal closes, the Activision Blizzard business will report to Phil Spencer, CEO of Microsoft Gaming. So people who were calling for Bobby Kotick to resign due to all the allegations and whatnot, uh, he's going to be there for the time being, it seems. Maybe once the deal closes, then he may step down. 
but for now, looks like you might be stuck with them. Gaming is the most dynamic and exciting category in entertainment across all platforms today, and will play a key role in the development of the metaverse platforms, said Satya, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Satya Nadella, Chairman and CEO, Microsoft. We're investing deeply in world-class content, community, and the cloud to usher in a new era of gaming that puts players and creators first and makes gaming safe, inclusive, and accessible to all. Players everywhere love Activision Blizzard games, and we believe the creative teams have their best work in front of them, said Phil Spencer, CEO of Microsoft Gaming. Together, we will build a future where people can play the games they want virtually anywhere they want. For more than 30 years, our incredibly talented teams have created some of the most successful games at Bobby Kotick, CEO of Activision Blizzard. The combination of Activision Blizzard's world-class talent and extraordinary franchises will, with Microsoft's technology, distribution, access to talent, ambitious vision, and shared commitment to gaming and inclusion will help ensure our continued success in an increasingly competitive industry. Why are we emphasizing inclusion here <laughs> in this? This is about gaming. There's no reason to emphasize inclusion in in this deal. I guess because it's Activision Blizzard and they're <laughs> they're trying to cover their asses, maybe. But it's kind of weird that they're emphasizing that so much right now. Mobile is the largest segment in gaming. Nearly ninety five percent of all players globally enjoying games on mobile through great teams like. In great technology, Microsoft and Activision Blizzard will empower players to enjoy the most immersive franchises like Halo and Warcraft virtually everywhere, anywhere they want. And with games like Candy Crush, Activision Blizzard mobile business represents a significant presence and opportunity for Microsoft in this fast-growing segment. The acquisition also bolsters Microsoft Game Pass portfolio with plans to launch Activision Blizzard games into Game Pass. Oh, you can put all the Call of Duties on there. Ooh, that would be interesting. All Call of Duties, Diablo, if they're on console, I'm not sure again, I haven't played Diablo. Uh, just put Overwatch on there, Overwatch 2, Xbox PC exclusive, ooh, man. The acquisition also boosts bolsters Microsoft Game Pass portfolio with plans to launch Activision, Activision Blizzard into Game Pass, which has reached a new milestone of over 25 million subscribers. With Activision Blizzard's nearly 400 million monthly active players in 190 countries and $3 billion franchises, this Activision will make Game Pass one of the most compelling and diverse lineups of gaming content in the industry. Upon, clo- upon close, Microsoft will have 30 internal game development studios, along with additional publishing and esports production capabilities. The transaction is subject to the customary closing conditions and completion of regulatory review at and Activision Blizzard shareholder approval. The deal is expected to close in fiscal year 2023, whenever that is, I don't know. And it will be accretive, accretive, I don't know, to non-GAAP earnings per share upon close. The transaction has been approved, the transaction has been approved by the boards of directors of both Microsoft and Activision Blizzard, of course. It will be interesting to see if anybody, because it has to be approved in all these different countries, uh, it'd be interesting to see if they get held up because it's too big, they become too much of a monopoly. That would be interesting to see if that happens, because this is a huge acquisition. They bought Bethesda for $7.5 billion in we thought that was massive. So, this blows it out of the water. Se- almost $70 billion we're talking here. This absolutely blows that out of the water. When we heard rumors of them buying a massive company, I don't think people really considered this. Because I don't remember people talking about Activision Blizzard being bought. But, it was more like, Take two, uh, Warner Bros. Games, uh, EA, in some places Ubisoft. I don't think this was even mentioned a, a lot. So this was a shock to me to see, and this will definitely help them uh, compete with Sony. I don't know if they're really interested in competing with Sony though, 
but it'll definitely help with that on the console side, especially if Call of Duty and Overwatch are Xbox and PC exclusives. It, this is a, this is just a huge acquisition, and I, I'm interested to see what happens with it. See if those games will indeed be exclusive. See if this gets held up at all. Be interesting to watch, but I guess let me know what you think about all this. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe. Share the video. I have another channel called Thoughtful Outlaw Sports where I talk about basketball, baseball, football, and anything else sports related I'm interested in. Check that out, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.